What up guys? You are about to witness something incredible. This is the AGS Amiga Game Selector version 2.3A for the real Amiga hardware. Just like over here we got an Amiga 4000, right? But that image for the real Amiga hardware, I burned it to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and I insert it in my beautiful Sidewinder FPGA. Can you see it? Yes, you can! <laughs> Sidewinder FPGA. This one got the real hardware Amiga image, 32 gigabyte, and it just boots up. It's so beautiful. I have to share this with you guys. Paul Vince, I love you buddy, this is just, this is incredible, let's go ahead and take a look at it. But before we take a look at the AGS, let's see how powerful this little system is, how it runs. So we will press escape on my PC keyboard, because I can put in a PC keyboard, PC mouse, SD card, DB9 Amiga joystick. I mean, if I can't connect an Amiga joystick, then it's junk, okay? Amiga mouse, reset, power on and off, power. The power is a bit too low, but it is what it is. <laughs> and I also have VGA out and um, mini jack audio out, but I'm using this one, um, video and audio all to the SCART stick and this one has some interference so it's not the best but you can see when it loads uh, but picture as you can see here there we go we got picture guys let's go in and see how this one where is where is hippo player it's right here not a file okay this is um <laughs> Add. Yeah. Okay, give me a second, guys. Can you read from there? Yes, you can. 1987 classic chill crack trolls. German sync. Let me see. Mods classic pop songs. Yeah, dance. Amiga game pop. Dance and pop. Eight, 90s, of course, 90s. Are you kidding me? I'm a 90s kid. I don't know songs from 80s. Oh, yeah, 80s I do, but not 70s. All right. And, oh, there we go. Yes, it works. All right, guys. Oh, copyright. <laughs> oh, copyright. Copyright again, I know. So, usually, um, this, this beautiful product This beautiful product, the Sidewinder FPGA, it will emulate. The... No, it will. Um... Oh man! Every time I say emulation, you guys are just so angry. This FPGA simulates Amiga. Okay. No, what was it? Hardware recreate. FPGA one to one cycle exact. Hardware recreation simulation. What is it okay? I just say it emulates Amiga. Is it okay? Just don't be angry about it. It emulates Amiga. Okay. I don't care about the the tech behind it. Who cares? What's going on on the screen? That's important. So, for example, my Pi 400. If I want to listen to music, but because you can have, you know, Macintosh workbench, it looks like a Macintosh and millions and billions of colors and high resolution, full HD, nothing with Amiga, but it can do it. But as soon as I listen to music, it sounds so bad, it can't simulate the polar chip the proper way. But this FPGA, oh my God. Let me see here. If I take the volume too high, we will have uh, some noise in the background. I'm so sorry about that. That's the that, that's this audio video cable. If I use the... Um, oh, it sounds so crispy. I mean, for the polar chip, right? 
I will vote get. Let me um, let me see here. Oh, move on, baby. <laughs> I mean, if you don't know this music, you didn't live in the 90s, man. Come on. <laughs> you got to know. <laughs> Captain Hollywood, so cool. Oh, come on. Oh, rhythm of the night. <laughs> it's so cool. Da -da. Somebody dance with me. I love this one. I love it. Dr. Elvan, look at this, guys. So beautiful. So beautiful picture and audio quality with the Sidewinder FPGA. Doom, what was that? Oh, that's just German style. <laughs> I want to at this trans. Thing in Germany, I mean, this is the way I wanna be. House of Love. Everybody in the House of Love. Yeah. Oh yes, it's unbelievable. All right, I'm using an old uh, Amiga mouse here, and we're gonna use an old Amiga joystick here because I don't wanna feel I'm. Um, I still want to feel the Amiga feeling. So yeah, okay, okay. The audio is just 10 out of 10. The picture, we have no smooshing in the middle. I don't have to adjust picks and width and stuff like that. I don't have to do nothing. It just works. Plug it in and play. That's what I like, okay. Everything else, I don't care. So over here, we can, how is it? We can right click, right? How is it? Right click, yeah, there we go. We have um, a lot of stuff, okay. Where is this info? This is, is not here. Workbench. Devs. Oh, and, and look at this. My dear friend Paul, he just included all the kickstarts, so no BS. It just works. Don't, no headache, no nothing. So if you have an AGA Amiga, Amiga 1200, 4000, CD32, and the new. That there's there is some new board that has AGA also. You can just run this. Kickstart is all ready to go. It's so cool. Tools. Show config. There we go. It's an O20. That's just beautiful. Uh, what was that system? Storage. I mean, where is? Um, utilities maybe? Yes! We got Witch Amiga here! Nice! O20 at 18 megahertz. Uh, 2 megabyte chip RAM. Workbench 3.1. I love this original workbench. I know the ROM for the Kickstart says a higher version. That's because my Sidewinder FPGA, if I press F12, if I press F12, I can go to the side and take chipset. I uh, know. I can go to the side and take memory settings. Yeah. Here, uh, on the FPGA, I can go in and choose Kick 3.1. Um, and this is the, the one that, that it's loaded with. It's 3.2.9.8 point sound, bull, you know, all that new stuff. That's why it says like this. I can go, you can see my RAM, 16 megabyte Zorro 3 RAM and 4 megabyte Zorro 2. 2 megabyte chip, this is the HA system. Beautiful stuff. And we're running with the O20. O20 processor. I can speed it down if I want. I can say 68,000 CPU, 68,000, 6820, and I can also just make an OCS system. Then this this won't work, right? How beautiful is that? So we have Witch Amiga, we have Sysinfo, or Hippo players here also. Guys, you need to go in to Facebook, 
Amiga Game Selector page. Paul Vince is the man, he's the admin of that group. He shares this image. All the games you can dream about, all the demos you can dream about, everything is included. All the kickstarts you can dream about, everything is just included. And if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna get better results, then turn off everything else uh, on the workbench when you're in here and take speed. It said 79 megahertz, but now I turned off Hippo Player. Look at this, 88 megahertz. Nice, I knew that would happen. Um, yeah, it's an O20 processor running about 20 megahertz. It's a Kawabonga. We have no FPU, so that's what it is. And where is the RAM? We have the 60 megabytes over 3 there, and 4 megabytes over 2. Um, as you can see, Zoro 3, it's 32 megabit RAM. Where are the boards? Here you can see Zoro 3 at 16 megabyte. There. Good. That's all the workbench you can enjoy. And I'm telling you, again, the audio video is perfect. But even better, audio quality. Oh my sweet mother of candy flush. Audio is just... So good, nothing like the Raspberry Pi bull BS, you know? This is real one-to-one -one cycle exact Paula chip simulation, okay? Real mouse audio. Oh, that red LED is blinking like crazy. That's nice. So this is what happens when you just boot. And I, I mean, the FPGA solution is absolutely mind-blowing. And this is... At this image uh, and, and at, at his uh, Facebook page, he has got for um, Raspberry Pi and Retro Arc and all the different images you can dream about. Paul has done them. I mean, he is just. If we should give an award to somebody in the music community in 2023, it should be Paul Vince any day of the week. As number one, number two, number 25,000, he's just. What he has done for us, it's incredible. We have got some emulators. You can emulate Armstrong. I have, this is my video number five or something. Uh, go in and write Amiga Game Selector Retro Django and you will see other videos where I show Sega Master System runs real nice. And I ran ZX Spectrum. That was a lovable piece of S computer, man, compared to the Commodore 64. Check out my video. This, this one is really cool, he has got this extra games and I really, really like this. Instead of R-Type, he has got A-Type and when you get this image, go in and, and just, just play this Alien Brit 3D 2 modded version with a Uzi or something. So cool, so go in and check, check this as the first thing, okay, really nice. Great, great game uh, collection. You can put in your favorites, games, all the OCS, ECS games, okay? Adult games, as you can see, we will get screenshots over there, and that's not enough. Screenshots alone is not enough. You can see it, um, it switches between, uh, let me see here, let's just go into games here, A here, and let's go down to something. Um, let's go, it's Alien, yeah, Alien Brie, okay. Nice. You will get pictures, <laughs> you will get scrolling pictures, box art. It's so cool. You will get info, Alien Brie 2, the developer, the team, genre, action, how many players, display type, PAL, language of the game. It's just crazy. I love this, I love this. But we're not done yet. Let's just go and scroll between the other thing. AGA games, AGA only. You can see now we only have these games. Uh, this is uh, Alien Breed Tower Assault. And I don't even know what, if I don't know the game, I can just wait here for some seconds. Oh, this is how it looks in game. So there are a lot of Amiga games. Uh, let, let, let me see here, Alpha Chicken. I don't know what it is. This, okay, it looks a bit childish. I don't want to try it. Then I scroll to the next game. Nothing like, I mean, the old eye game, it was so clunky. And there are other images where you have to go into workbench and open up drawers. You don't know what the game looks like. 
BS. Forget about that system, okay? This is it. So, beta games, nice. I know Turrican is in here. Turrican 2. <laughs> Love this. This is the PC version uh, that runs on your Amiga. Go ahead and try that. It's absolutely masterfully done. Games by John. And then you can see Publisher and System and Theme. This is cool. Theme, what you want? Dungeon Crawlers? Alright, I want to play um, After Beholder. That's on the Dungeon Crawlers. There you go. Or Ice Heart. It's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, let me see. How is the in game um, uh, nightmare? I don't know this game. From 1991, it looks like this. It reminds me of uh, Eye of the Beholder. Nice. I mean, and it's uh, it's for the OCS ECS system. He has what he has done. It's it's uh, it's incredible. Games by year. Do you want to play the games you played on your Amiga Thousand back in 1985? Here we go. They're just they're just they're ready. You don't go to draws and select. Find the games from 85. Oh, I got my first Amiga 500 in 1991. I want to play only games from 91. Here we go, all the games from 91 are listed here. I mean, oh man, if Paul Vince was a beautiful lady, I would send him her some kisses, but you know how it is. MG32 games, there we go, guys. It's so cool. Multiplayer games, two player games, three, four, five player games. When I play Amiga with my son, or if I ever had a friend over, I love this one. This is listed all the two player games. It's it's so easy, so we don't have to scroll and search for two player. It's just ready. Non-English, I haven't looked that much in here, but you can see this is Italian only. And it will say here language, Italy. A lot of Amiga people in Italy. A lot of viewers of this channel from Italy, from Poland, from Spain, from Sweden. This side wonder was uh, donated to this channel by a guy from Sweden. Thank you, my dear friend. It's so cool. Uh, NTSC games, laughable. They run too fast. Don't use your time on that. Demos. I mean, the same at the demos. All the demos or adult demos. I mean, it's just mind blowing. And disc magazines, documentation, filters. If this is the options you have got here, um, it's crazy. So, this Sidewinder FPGA, I don't have the money for an Amiga 4000 or an Amiga 1200. I don't want to recap. I don't want to mess around with uh, IDE to CF card adapters, burn CF card, blah, blah, blah. I just have how much does this cost? Few, but let's say 200. I don't know. Because this is old. This one is uh, Nano 1. And if you buy the Mister, it's Nano 10. So it's 10 times newer or something. This side wonder is old and slow. But let's just go in and test the game. Let's go into an AGA game. Um, yeah, Alien Breed, not a demo, right? Alien Breed, AGA, right? Yes. Chipset, where's the chipset? Yeah, there we go. Chipset, AGA. So let's see how it runs with this beautiful Sidewinder. Can you see the side? Yes, you can. Sidewinder, um, WXC load 18966.01. Amazing stuff. Let's see how it runs, okay? Uh, and as you all know, WHTD, it just loads. Music, it sounds like my Amiga 4000. I mean, that's why you will not see me use Raspberry Pi. I think Raspberry, all Raspberry Pi in all Amiga out of the window. I, no, I don't settle with less experience like that. Unless you're an old guy, you're deaf, you can't hear the difference in the audio quality then it doesn't matter, then enjoy your Raspberry Pi, absolutely. But my ears are very young, you know what it is, guys. So yeah, this is an IGA game and look at the loading speed and everything, it's just, look at the picture quality, it doesn't, we have no scan, you look at this, F12, I can, if I want, 
I can't go in and say, um, look at this, guys. I can't go in here in video settings. And I can, you can see here, low risk filter, high risk filter. And I can it, it put in scan lines so you get the old CO2 scan lines. Looks like bull, but I can do it if I want, okay? But uh, who wants stuff like that? Look at this, the speed and everything, it's just, and I'm using an Amiga joystick. We have, we have like no lag. Oh, that was my fault. We have no lag, guys. Look at this. No lag. It's just... It's one-to-one, -one, cycle exec, hardware recreation, whatever, simulation, emulation. It's so cool. Again, some dork is going to write on the YouTube channel. It's something, something, something. And dude, no one cares what it is, okay? No one but you. So AGA games, perfect. Let's go into non-AGA and go down to S. I think uh, S Street Fighter Saber Team, Sensible Soccer, <gasps> Shadow of the Beast. Please play that on your Pi 400. Yeah, Shadow of the Beast one. It ran so fast. Maybe this one will run fast also. I don't know. Let's test it. My first test, if the music runs like in TSC or the real deal, I mean the audio quality. I'm telling you guys, audio quality is just out of this world on this. It, it sounds like the Polar Chip. Absolutely love it. And it runs like a PAL system. And it sounds crazy. Wow. Absolutely wow, man. Absolutely wow. Okay, let's quit. All right. And look at this. You don't have to reset between every time. You just say quit and it will just quit. You don't need to restart your uh, simulator or nothing like that. It's just so cool. Look at all the games. It's so crazy. Oh, Svew. Let's take out Svew. <laughs> So cool, absolutely. Weapon power. Weapon power. Yeah, let's take max weapon power. Weapon speed. One faster. I don't know. <laughs> Unlimited lives. Disabled jump. Oh, that must be for the Jeep. Uh, 512 chip and 512 fast memory. So cool. Oh. Let's get some audio because the music here is so awesome, right? Oh, yes. Picture quality on my 32 inches LG TV from 2012. I paid under 10 euros to buy it used with a scarred stick. I mean, the picture quality is crazy, crazy nice. And you can see from the brown to black, you have no mushiness in between doesn't flicker oh, you can't see. I mean the camera shows it so bad but the real deal it's just it's it's so good oh dude <laughs> weapon of mass destruction oh, oh, oh. let me put on auto fire okay this is with the auto fire on and this is with the auto fire off uh, see if you can feel any form of uh, lag or you know emulation BS this is just it's incredible <laughs> I love it weapon of mass destruction <laughs> F10 and just jump back to the menu again I mean how cool is this you can also use your keyboard um super frog let me see here super frog super frog demo super frog cd32 aga version cu demo international super frog one demo superhero let's check super frog cd32 let me see if i can emulate that all sim if it can run that also, okay? <laughs> Let me see how it runs. Let me 
just turn off the lights here. So we are run running the CD32 version of Superfrog now. I think this Sidewander FPGA, guys, it's so cool. It's absolutely... Look at my joystick if you want to play CPC 464. I think that was the amp spread. Then it can just move here and it will work to that also. But all fire. I mean, this one from Quickjoy SV131. This is my second favorite joystick of all time. The first one is, of course, the uh, zip stick, the black one with yellow buttons, and auto fire. And this is the CD32 version. And I'm telling you, we have no lag, no nothing. It feels, it feels like a real Amiga. It's so cool. The graphic, the sound, the speed, the control, no lagginess, no Raspberry Pi BS. This is just pure awesomeness. Oh, darn it. I mean, it can replace my Amiga 4000. And you know that I just love real hardware, right? And listen to me when I say this, it can replace it. I can go into Workbench and listen to music in great quality. I can go in and play all the games I want to play. And they run pretty nice, as you can see. I'm not saying I'm going to replace it with my Amiga 4000. But uh, I could if I want it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this retro Django out. Oh, let's try one more game that I love to play. Maybe my favorite Amiga game. I have like 2,000 videos with this game, which is our time. Again, this is an OCS game, an old game from 1987. We will activate uh, auto fire. Thank you. So we have auto fire on. And we're going to enjoy this. Did you see? For how many minutes? For 27 minutes. Okay, that guy that made the image for the um, Raspberry Pi. Pi Mega. He went ape ass on me because on the video I didn't reset and he said. You don't know the Amiga system, you have to reset between every each and no you don't have to reset between every, between every game. It just works fine. And this is oh plug and play. I mean look at this, look look at how well it runs. Oh it's hard to play like this, but I wanna show you uh, the um, the zero lag, okay? And I have no converters, no nothing, it's just my DB9 goes into the uh, the FPGA simulator, emulator, and it just, guys, get one of these, come on in and join. We're up at 8,000 users, gaining like uh, 1,000 users every month, new subscribers on the page on Facebook, um, and I just... I love it man, people are enjoying this, every day new people are jumping in, so this is more promotion for the Facebook page, so come on in and join and download this image, it's, it's, a, it's free, everything is free, everything is set up for you, and I know that uh, Paul Vince is making some other great stuff, so more greatness is on the way, so come on in and join guys, this is this is just Amiga fun, nothing else. No drama, just fun. Whoa. These all shoot 'em up games, right? I did hit the arcades when I was a kid. It was just so cool. It was so freaking cool, man. And I have got this PC keyboard that I have connected. Uh, an old PS2 stick, so that's it. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Just a, just an old PC keyboard, guys, and it just works perfect here. And again, I, I can also use a um, PC mouse if I want. 
So I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and got inspired to try it for yourself. Have a great day out there, guys. Retro Django out. Bye. So again, love this FPGA, buy it, install the, uh, burn the image and just enjoy it. It's so simple, if I can do it, a child can do it. Have a great day guys, bye.